Atlantic Island Park. There's a bingo. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Mm -hmm. Make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Hmm. Hey, Nuckin, how are you doing? It's called the park. <laughs> also, hello to you as well. <laughs> it's called the park. It is uh, It's kind of a scary little game. Not scary, creepy more than anything. Sorry, I'm not used to the controls. I'm like all over the place. Hey, Captain Beers, how you doing? And Blue, wow, it's a party. You guys are all here. All right, so we're going to go in here. Oh. I gotta get my controls, they're sensitive. What? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People <laughs> lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's <laughs> teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Okay, so yeah, this is on X1. It came out on Tuesday. And uh, I think it's on sale right now if you're a gold member for like... It's just under $12, if I remember right. So, And no zombies... I don't think there's any Victorian dolls. I'm it's pretty specific. I remember that. And I think you're I think it's puppet free. It's just cre it has a lot of creepy stuff though. I could be wrong. So Calum is her kid, the boy that just Wait ran. Up there for mommy Callum. Catch me. Callum. God, I am over staring. This is so sensitive. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Captain Beers. <laughs> Let's see. Your stepfather's an avid collector of some famous clown thing. Oh, no. We're not doing the clowns again. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how you had the clowns. I think this is sign is kind of creepy. Anybody that knows me knows I... My vertigo can't do special about those the in real life. Oh, fuck. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. Yeah, Blue. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Hey, no thank you for the host, Wonder. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Yeah, clowns are the worst. Yeah, this is the one I 100 percented on the gamer score. Ether. Either one. <laughs> Goose. You wish clowns. I think there. Actually, there might be oh a clown or something. So I've played this before, but I'm not gonna lie. I might jump. Just. So you know. <gasps> it's kind of startling. It's easy to get lost here. Either one. You can't catch me. There he is. Yeah, you should go, Goose, and just play it because it's it, it's only about two hours long tops, and I don't want you to. Yeah, I'll have fun. See you, Goose. If you're going to buy it, honestly, you shouldn't watch the stream. So, not that I want you guys to go, but... Let's see. You can kind of run. It's like a slow jog. Guess there's nothing down here. 
All right, see you, Goose. <laughs> That's not creepy looking. Hey, Pagos, how are you doing? Hey, Wonder, if you didn't hear me, thanks again for the host. I really appreciate it. Oh, Blue. You should probably not listen to the stream. Because it'll spoil it. It's like quiet. No. Oh. Games like this. I'm too easy as far as getting scared. Examine shoe. Where's the shoe? Oh. I think this belongs to Kelm. So we're looking for her son. Chad the chipmunk, huh? <laughs> Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> it's not scary scary, it just startles. Hey, no worries, Wonder. I always miss your streams, Wonder. It drives me nuts. I'm always like running errands. Okay, so I haven't read any of these notes yet because I wanted to save it for the stream, but man, these are long. Um... That's a lot to read. Hey, Rogue. Thank you so much for the follow. I think we're going to skip by this. <sighs> Don't run errands. <laughs> hey, guys, should give Wonder Wes a follow. Uh, she streams uh, usually like, uh, what would you say, about 5 p.m. Pacific on average. So she streams a lot of different stuff and super nice. Callum, stay where you are. And so you can call for your kid if you hit where the B button. You? Of course, let's go on a creepy ride at night. I think, yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> You're streaming the end of Quantum Break at 7 p.m. Pacific. That's awesome. Hey, no problem. I liked Quantum Break. Need to finish my last achievement. Pago, so romantic. <laughs> Everyone, come on a romantic a great forest, ride with a me. Poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What difficulty? Oh, what difficulty uh, Wonder's playing? I'm not sure. I think she's on normal? One night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow Shit, and abandon them there. Me. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. 
Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking. <laughs> you sing in demos. Began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut. Normal, yeah. White stones from the ground to fill his pockets. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Mm, I've heard this story before. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Mm. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Broke his bread into pieces hey C. Murphy thank you so much for the follow safely home but hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed yeah it's it's a creepy little game Abandoned if you're gonna get it though I really wouldn't watch the stream the because the game's short the and you're gonna forest. see like all the spoilers really fast it was a totally weird Disney ride if I was really writing this, I'd be like, the what? The children stumbled the hell? into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Oh, Hansel and Gretel. Hey, it's lit. Um, it's not really scary, no. It, it has a few startling moments. It's just a nice little short story, I think. Hey, Blue Gill, how are you doing? children don't be afraid i have something for you for you the old woman offered them two enormous lollipops the children took them and began to eat <laughs> you see nothing to fear here come inside the old woman urged and the children still licking their sweets followed uh oh Oh, it did scare me. <laughs> See? It's just jumpy things. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good Uh Captain, no, it's a a single playthrough. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast him. Uh it's pretty much just one ending. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day... <laughs> Vincent Price's eat. voice, yeah. for her uh, part, uh. grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. And pow! Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crow... Oh, all right, sounds good, Blue. Into the oven. <laughs> Blue Gill. We have two Blues in here right now. Gretel a giant bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel 
and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled and the witch was cooked. Uh-oh. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. I don't remember that being in the ending of the book the, as a kid, but okay. <gasps> that duck just turned and looked at me. When? Do hey, thank you for the host, Blue Stor Blue Storm. There's two blues in here. Did you guys see that duck? It turned its head around and looked at me. That was creepy. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Let's get off this creepy ride. Callum, where did you go? Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those Duck is judging children, me. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids <laughs> in that story. Only one blue, BLU. Mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Hmm. Oops. Um. Hey, one thing too, you guys, not to break the mood of the, uh, Hey, Kevin, thank you so much for the follow. Not to break the mood of the game, but over at GirlTribeGaming.com, we're giving away a code tomorrow for the game. It's called Azkend 2. It comes out on Xbox tomorrow. And uh, it's like a puzzle game. Um, it's really fun. It's addictive. So if you want to enter win that code, it's over at GirlTribeGaming.com. <clears throat> I'm going to be streaming that tomorrow. Another accident. This place. I feel like this open door, okay. Okay. I'm not gonna read that whole thing. Oh, well, I'm glad it's running better. I don't know why. I don't know what makes certain ones run better. The new Neverwinter update. Man, I am so behind in Neverwinter. I don't... I started a, a new character because I had forgotten what I was doing. That's creepy. Is there a speaker? Oh, yeah. Does the teddy bear have a knife in its eye? I don't know. It's too far to walk. I'll just look. Yeah, I'm so behind in Neverwinter. I, I want to play it. It does have a knife in its eye. All right, good, good notice there. Okay. Stop, kill him! A hey, zero skills, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. Isn't that special? Uh, 
All right. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It used to make me dizzy. It's not going that fast. Examine the guy report. Just snapped. Those poor kids. What? Okay, what happened? We're, we were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. Ah. <sighs> Let's, can we. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. Blah, blah, blah. We thought he was doing this. Chipmunk man went berserk. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground. He was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people... Wow, this is... Ooh. The eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture. Hmm. That's gross. Um, which way do I go? I mean, you're in an abandoned amusement park. You gotta ride. I can't get on while it's moving. You gotta ride all the rides, right? I wonder what happens if I increase the speed. Oh, it does go faster. Okay. Let's decrease. Oh! <laughs> the, uh, connect. Stop listening. It's like, it says, can't faster from here. Okay, let's see if we can go out here. Can I go through? Ah. Callum? Are they gonna let me through? I jump? Callum? Where'd you go? Let me... Oh. I had to talk to a squirrel, clearly. <laughs> the cardboard squirrel is what let me onto the ride. <laughs> Perfect lunchtime stream. is creepy, huh? Murphy barf. I get vertigo really easy. Alright, so we'll go out. So we came in over there. Okay. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing, and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And I shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, 
all the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Wait, I want to read. Oh, there we go. Well, um. Yeah, I did see that person. It's creepy. Not funny game. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this is creepy looking. Keep an eye on it. <laughs> Let's walk faster. Constant crashes in eighties music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going the right way. I don't know. <coughs> okay. Incident report. A lot of things happen at this park. 1976. Uh, oh, an accident when they were transporting bumper cars. Dang it! It's... it's bright. Mm. Hey, Yamo. I'm not sure how to say your name. Yamo Taki. Kaini, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Let's see here. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Mm. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car. Watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead, my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. She's clearly stable. <laughs> this is where you store your accident reports on old dusty bumper cars. All right. go in there. Alright. Okay. We're gonna move on. You know we're gonna ride that ride. 
Might as well just do it. I would never get on this. Just saying. <laughs> it's... Hey, George, thank you so much for the follow. Let's decrease the speed. This thing is... Cr this little squirrel mascot is cre creepy as well. <clears throat> okay. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. Mm. After that, he mostly just drank. <laughs> Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, <clears throat> he died. According mm. to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes mm. people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. <laughs> I'm ready to get off the Ferris wheel. <laughs> looks like a fallout fallout for ferris wheel <clears throat> oh there's that creepy thing in there again all right we will go this way exit out the correct side It's like I was just on this Ferris wheel and this came off. <laughs> hey, clickety clack, how are you doing? What is that? A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. <laughs> My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and <laughs> he owes me everything. Oh, wow. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. <laughs> She's clearly doing well. Uh, Julian's, um, yeah, the game, it takes about two hours if you're playing it. 
and like looking at everything. It's about an hour, I think, if you just fly through it. But to me, I like the story, so it was worth the money. Um, well, not I didn't buy it, but <laughs> I had it for a review copy. But uh, I don't know. I like the story and everything. Let's see. I'm going to ride the road. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. <clears throat> Hey, Will. I like the game. It is short. You're going to get, like... You're probably only going to play it one time. Once you've played it and you've already seen the story, um, it's the same each time. But... I'm en I enjoyed it. <clears throat> well, there's creepy again. See, what I totally missed that before. We need to talk about oh. Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has it now? Has She's looking for her son. Is no the basis basis here, of the story? Just, just leave me alone. Fool, you always were. Uh... Those are the emergency room doors she's blasting through. Oh. <laughs> hey Yama, if you're gonna get it though, I would totally stop watching the stream because the game is super short and you'll see too much of it. <laughs> and if you're an achievement hunter, um, you can get all 1,000 gamer score um, really easy <laughs> just by naturally playing it. There's like one achievement you might miss, and if you do, you can go back, and it takes like 30 seconds to get. Alright, let's get off this. And I'm seeing things the second time through that I missed the first time, which is interesting. Wait, did I go the... I guess it doesn't matter. I'm not sure where I go. No, that's not the right way. I need to be on that side. Maybe the other door. <clears throat> oh, you don't mind spoilers? Well, then, hey, hang out. <laughs> I'm like a spoiler... Freak, I won't even watch trailers to movies. How do I get out of here? I can't see, it's too dark. Is there another way out? Oh, oh I miss this. Okay, um, how do I get? Okay, maybe I went the right way. I don't know. Just one out, people. Let me out. Oh, flashlight. The witch awaits. Mm. Okay, now I can go. Follow the the clues, Moto. Can I go? Th there we go. Alan has bruises on his arms. Finger marks? Someone has been hurting him! 
I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. Hmm. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. Mm. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him. Every hey, Era. Every yeah, I am playing on they Xbox One. To him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. She's not crazy. Yeah, I'm playing on Xbox One. I have to say it quiet, my connectal. Yeah, this came out on Xbox on Tuesday. Newspaper? The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Mmm. Okay. Um Come back. Don't let him take me. Calla, where are you? Shit, that scared me. <laughs> hey TKM Evolution, thank you so much for the follow. It scared me. Uh. Is there nothing? Oh, examine corpse. Oh, bastard. Who did this to him? Is that it? Hey, Reeve. Hey, Fuzzy Bunny. Thank you so much for the follow. Shit. Uh, I've played this and it still gets me. Uh. Somebody's cuckoo. Ah, oh, man, my lip. Uh, Deimos, we watched a bunch of TV. So romantic. <laughs> I was still feeling sick yesterday, so just took it easy and watched a bunch of TV shows. It was like, um, God, what is on my lip? Um, I think we watched like Arrow, Flash. And shield, so. <laughs> what are we doing? Forgive me, Calm. Let's just say 1980s. But mostly children simply die. Oh boy. <clears throat> How do I get out of here? I've... I guess through the door, mate? No, I can't get through there. Oh, I can get through there. Oh, there's that creepy thing. I don't even want to go near it. Turn around. Oh. He's serious. Um, can I go back here? There's that dead guy. Where am I supposed to go? What's the red triangle? Oh, it's teddy bears. Am 
I gotta read all that. Okay. Yeah, I know. I felt bad. I was like, I just don't feel good. <clears throat> oh, God, no. Hi, Nolan. How are you doing? Man. <laughs> Ew. Okay. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. She's clearly together. <laughs> Callum? Callum! Hey, Maddie Cool, thank you so much for the follow. Alright. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what they do with their next game because this game the the developer kind of used as a way for them to learn uh, I think it was like Unreal is that what it's called Unreal Engine but they were you know using this game as a way to teach themselves how to use this new way to to make games so I'm excited to see the next game thank you for the follow Bluegill I really appreciate it Oh, yeah, Captain America. You know, I haven't even watched the trailer for that movie. Just saying. No spoilers. No spoilers. Okay. Hey, same it or one same it. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm sure I said your name wrong. All right. Creepy, creepy. Oops. Ha ha ha. Not funny. You don't get to see her very much. Okay. No, Swagmaster, I am a girl. <laughs> I thought that was a another hallway.
Show yourself. I wonder which way. I don't think this will go. Hey, uh, Musa Shikani. I'm not sure if I said that right. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> the house needs some fixing up. It's so clean. Um, not sure which way I'm supposed to go. Must be up here. Oh, sh uh, <laughs> I've played this before. I'm just saying I should not be scared. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <sighs> ah, no worries. I've gotten turned around. Creepy. Oh, no worries, no worries. Wait, okay, so I was just, I just did a circle, right? Where's that? Yeah, because I went down here already, I think. Great. That thing's probably going to pop up and scare me again. I don't want to walk by it. Okay, let's see if I can not get lost. Okay, so I walk through here. Don't... Okay, it's already popped up. It doesn't need to scare me again. Uh... Let me see here. Ah! Almost got me. Here it goes. <clears throat> mm, creepy. Okay. Nightmare Circus. That's where we are. <laughs> Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Mm hmm. Yeah, I never got to play Layers of Fear. Um, I wanted to play that. Zen played it. We talked about it on the podcast. Um, let's see, I'm behind. I was trying not to get lost in that maze. 
Yeah, there's no battling. It's just you walking around, kind of discovering and learning the story of hers. Please, make me see. Um... So, okay, so 1977, she was committed, suffering from depression that began during her pregnancy. Hey, Storm Chaser, I don't believe there are different endings. I think it's the same. It, this is my second playthrough, so... Although I'm still jumping, it's funny. I can open this door? Oh, I was gonna say. The pills. Zolift instead of Zoloft. Hey, Lahane, how are you doing? Rubik's Cube. Callum. What have you done with him? Oh, little kid's creepy. Okay. Man, she needs to clean her kitchen. Yeah, so the text is really small. I I I um was having some issues playing it before and reading the text and I'm like just a few feet from my monitor. <laughs> You beat it in 30? Did you even enjoy it in 7? <laughs> yeah, see more small text. They should have did like Life is Strange did where they wrote it to the side so you could read it easier. That's just creepy. Listen. Some lovely artwork. Yeah. It is more for just the story, I think. I enjoy I enjoyed it. We talk we talk about this and some other games on the we have a new episode of the podcast coming out tomorrow. And hey, if any of you guys want to win, we have a, we're giving away a code for the a new game called Askind 2: The World Beneath, and it's over at girl I'll put it in chat too. girltribegaming.com. And uh, we'll draw a winner for that tomorrow. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to we have a, an extra episode this week, so that's nice. Thank you, Storm Chaser, for the follow. Let's see. Blood. <laughs> she needs her Zo lift.
<laughs> hey Moss, how are you doing? <laughs> it has been a long time. She has a lot of bottles. Okay. There's the creepy dude. I'm doing pretty good. I was sick earlier this week, so I'm glad to be back streaming again. Hey, Proxa. So you went to a ghost house in Sweden? With live actors similar to this? That would scare me. Like, I'd, I won't even do, like, a haunted house. The theme park. Hi, Rosie. Uh oh baby dolls. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> but they're not Victorian. What kind of chair did you get? I forget. I know you told me. I need a new chair. This is a lot of babies. Baby. Big babies. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Nuckin. Just for you. Why her? Her cry. Bye bye. I actually like the artwork. Nuckin, it's for you. Thanks for the follow, Eproxa. in the fridge. Anything new? Oh. Yeah. What's the goal of the game? Hey, uh, Abinin, Johnny, thank you so much for the follow. So the goal of the game is you play this woman who is looking for her son and that's the goal. But the game's almost near the end, so if you think you're going to buy it, I seriously would stop watching. So I don't want to ruin- I mean, it's just about over. Okay, I've played this before, but I'm a little nervous. I forget. It's been like a week. Uh, just a door. The seventh guest or mist? Hmm. Those were mist was more like a puzzle. What have you done with him? <laughs> the baby without the wine bottle. Somebody's a little crazy.
closing your eyes. <laughs> Forget these books. They're the if you read the back, they've been changing. The woodcutter is dead. Is that book still? No. See him die. See her cry. See her try. See her lie. Ask her why. Say bye bye. Blood. Oh, there's the teddy bear again. need to die. <laughs> no, Damos, I'm okay. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Lehane. I'm not sure how to say your... Have a nappy. Yeah, it is scary. Every time we come through these, we're just getting more de destroyed. Give it to me! I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Does anything jump out at you occasionally? Yeah, like something will pop and scare you. Yep. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, Mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch. Mm. But I am. Aren't I? Hansel and Gretel. Can't remember what happens.
Cal. 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 Yeah, I thought the same thing, Nuckin. <laughs> She's a little crazy, in case you didn't know. <clears throat> hey, Lorraine. Uh. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. And that's it. Uh, well, hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Yeah. I liked this game. It's short, but I really liked it. So, anyways, I'm going to be back later. I'm going to try the uh, Overwatch beta. I haven't played it yet, so I'll be streaming that. And then tomorrow I've got that new game, Asken 2. And if you want to enter win a code, it's over at girltribegaming.com. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good afternoon.